Slim is the cut case in the kickback podcast. What's happening with the relatives? What's happening with the Rico Bobby? This is my co host. And it's our birthday today. It's the kickback podcast, kickback bass. What's happening with it? I gotta say, first of all, happy birthday, Cuddy. Happy birthday, motherfucker. Yeah. Man. All right. We also got Riley right here, the life of Riley right here. What's up with you? Hello, I'm good. Happy birthday to both of you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, righteous. And we also got Saisha, my sister. Hey, man. The truth. Happy birthday, y'all. Appreciate you, appreciate you. What's up, everybody? Shout out to the relatives. What's up? And shout out to everybody that's coming through and kicking back with us. We got the grill going, man. Watching the football games. We uh, there's a lot of meat going on. We're going to see people come by all day, y'all. Yeah, we got a crowd here. It's nice. It's a crowd, man. It's going to be going live all day. Leave that door open right there. We want people to know that's the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. And yeah, uh, so what's cracking with it, man? How your birthday been? You went to a concert last night, I see. Yeah, you know what? Uh, this whole weekend I went to a festival, a little country music festival. Was oh, yeah? Year. Yeah. You listen to country music? I didn't know that. Yes, I do. Okay. I dabble in both okay. worlds. Who, 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 <laughs> George Strait? No, it was uh, pretty close, though. It was uh, Turnpike Troubadours and uh, Randy Rogers. It was good shit. Okay, never heard of. Uh, of course. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of birthdays, man. Hey, but I got a question. Speaking of birthdays, do you remember your craziest birthday, man, that you ever had? My craziest birthday? You know what? I, I really usually keep it low key, so I, I don't think I have one. Yeah, like, you do, the, man. You the craziest one I ever do? Okay, maybe my 21st down there on 6th Street in Austin. Not that I remember. But, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You're right. It you was don't on remember Monday. your birthday. Yeah. You, don't remember, you don't remember last night. I don't, so yeah, that is correct. That yeah. What about you? You got one? I'm going to ask her next. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all mine. Oh, okay. Um, you know, whenever I invite people to my birthday, no one ever shows up. Except for maybe Bobby. Hi. <laughs> but um, crazy birthday, probably my 21st when I fell asleep at the strip club. Damn. I fell asleep at the strip club. And it was club, the one folks. that I worked at, too. Yeah. So it was, like, really yeah. embarrassing. You fell asleep at work, girl? Well, I mean, I wasn't working at the time. <laughs> I was there uh, for fun. But, yeah, yeah and I got, go, go. there was pictures of it, and that was... You know, I think all our 21st birthdays was our worst day. Shit show. I mean, what about you? No, my 30th. Ooh, I'm thinking, I remember that. 30. What you oh, you I was at that one, right? No, you didn't come to that one. Yes, I, I did. You, you, I think you came to the dinner, and then you left. You know, that's what you was No, we didn't talk about that. Yeah, so no, you weren't there for the whole time. There they go, there they go, there they go. Shade everywhere. So what'd you do? Um, I just got really, really drunk. We went to dinner and then we went to this club and I had like all drinks. It's my birthday. I had a little pen, so everybody pen the money. One shot, one shot, and then I took like every shot from everybody. So I don't remember the rest. Um, all I do remember is that I kept falling, I guess, and then my friends didn't want to let me go home to my man. I was trying to get some. And like, <laughs> they was hot blocking because they know they was like, I forgot, it was like three levels. It was like a three story. Type club. I remember the club. Club. I seen the pictures there. Yeah, it was nice. It was popping, but I woke up. Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it, wasn't there one that we all went to a uh, Buttons that weekend? Yeah, it was Buttons yeah. and then the club yeah. and then the yeah, I didn't, that's right, I didn't. And was this in Dallas? It was in Dallas. Is that the Den? I don't remember what yeah. it's called. No, it, was like, it wasn't the day. It wasn't the day. It was it was with S or something. And on, like, my, on my defense, the chick I was with, she had pulled a slip one, so it wasn't my Yeah, he couldn't come. <laughs> Hmm. She woke up with a bunch of uh, mystery bruises, huh? Yeah, basically he he couldn't come, and I was like, "Hello, where you at?" He couldn't come, wasn't allowed, so we had to let that ride. (laughs) But now we're single again. He can come out. He can go places. Don't gotta worry. I was was single then. I could not be in a relationship like that. I was single. (laughs) I could not. I I could not. I was single then. But kind of taken. Not with that girl. Not with that girl. (laughs) You remember that? You see How take oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, Now with that girl. That wasn't the girl. That wasn't okay. that girl. Different girl. Different girl. Different girl. We get you. You got the game. Different girl. Different girl. And that's our lives get started, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, Cuddy, Cuddy, now we come to you. How about yours? What's you your Christmas birthday? You know so fucking gangster. You know the fucking laws was involved with my fucking words. Oh. You know the laws was involved with my shit. I know. I need the laws involved every time I go to a function. But anyway, it was my 21st birthday, man. Uh, we went to this uh, back in back in Louisiana. We have this, this game. The high school two high school teams played black schools. They call it the Soul Bowl. 
Booker T watching people. Green Oaks. Okay. And everybody go to the Soul Bowl that's black anyway. That, that even if you don't go to those schools, you go to that game. But after the game, we go live. We got this place called Crenshaw, but it's called just Drill Avenue. Mm-hmm. We go instead of going there that night, we end up going on our side of town, her and Avenue, North Market, because we got a strip too. So uh, we at the motherfucking uh, Taco Bell. We ride through the drive through. We just happened to see this chick that I used to deal with. She snitched on my brother and got my brother sent to jail. Yeah. We went to cabin and going off on the ass, cursing out, blowing out. <laughs> Going out, all of a sudden the police put the light on and shit. We said, fuck you too, police. We just put the guard out. My cousin staying low. Said, okay, motherfucker, this nigga y'all ass. For the relatives, not a great idea. This bitch, everybody, like, it was yeah. at 10 o'clock at night. So we leaving the shit to see him. I'm like, Kim, fuck, where we going, cuz? He said, I'm gonna take y'all motherfucking ass home. I said, nigga, it's 10 o'clock, it's my birthday. Nigga, we ain't going home. He said, yeah, we are. So we get to the house and shit. We got a big ass bottle of Remy, something like this. Ooh, yeah, it was yeah show the folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's happening with the Raymond We need endorsements. We need shit like this to have pay us. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get sponsored here. <laughs> See how much he loves it. But like I was saying, like I was saying, uh, back to the story. So we get to the house and shit, and I realized how fucked up I was until I got home. So it's me, my cousin, Stan Logan, my brother Jelly Road, and my best friend Pat. We at the house and shit, we smoking and drinking, and we playing dominoes. We shuffling the dominoes up. Whoever pulled the lower domino got to take a shot. And we taking shots at Reverend Martin. We would take so we, as we take shots, some chicks come over. And all of a sudden, we started smoking weed. I'm laying on the ground smoking the weed, but every time they pass me the blunt, I ain't even smoking that motherfucker. I'm just holding it to my mouth and just pass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like 20 minutes later, so I don't know how I got to my bed, but they say two chicks had grabbed me by one, grabbed me by my arms, the other grabbed me by my legs, and carried me to the fucking bed. <laughs> I woke up the next day with a hangover like a motherfucker. And I ain't had no bad birthdays since then. I've been functional every time I've been fucked up ever since. Well, they're really nice because I would have just like put a pillow under your head. Like, you're, <laughs> right, you're good. You're, 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 you're good. Maybe a blanket. Somebody popping a Mickey or something in your drink. Matter of fact, speaking of drinking, can somebody pass me another green can? <laughs> Dos Equis, we're also looking for sponsorship. Yeah, so, anything uh, is green. Green bottle gang. In the, <laughs> the, the green, green bottle green. gang. Yeah, we got blue label. The t-shirts are coming soon. <laughs> yeah, shout out. So, uh, what's been going on, man? Anything y'all want to talk about, man? What's been bothering y'all this fucking week, man? Face no, not, not a whole of a lot. Uh, you know how I do. I, I, I have been under siege, as it were. Yeah, you yeah. been hiding this shit. I have been hiding. Because you know, you know, your man, this shit been fucking up all week and shit. That goddamn motherfucker Donald Trump. Shit, tell him motherfucker. Oh, well, okay. Oh, so there's a time to admit when we make mistakes. Oh, and uh, you know, I'm gonna go there. I gotta step. You know what? I'm fixing to go hard. What's up, Kaepernick? Yeah. How you doing, sir? Hey, <laughs> so, uh, how you doing, Kaepernick? I sure wish he would get off Twitter. That would be pretty cool. Uh, indeed. For the leader of the free world. Every time he on this show, he on Twitter. Yeah. Every time that nigga on this show, he on Twitter. Listen. What the fuck are you doing? Enough already. Every time. Uh, that right there. Hey, shout out. What's up, yeah. Doesn't he have better shit to do? Oh, right. You would think. Yeah. You would really think. Yeah. This is pointless. North Korea's no got nuclear weapons, down. and still he's concerned he's, about uh, and you know. He's playing games. He I bet he won't call him a little rocket man. I bet he won't call him. Oh so I do this kind of a bitch. What an awful idea. I mean, his haircut's terrible, but do we have to really provoke this motherfucker? Mm. Uh, hey, you know what, man? I think. I don't know what to say about this dude. You know what? Fuck that. Well, you know what? I think the real dude in the rest of the world is pretty sick of hearing about politics. You know what? Fuck Donald Trump, man. Fuck politics, man. It's my fucking birthday, yeah. man. Yeah. Neil Stan, I don't care. I love football. Up. And today, my Cowboys <laughs> fucked up. I got my little homie right here. They fucked up. The Cowboys, I was y'all. The Cowboys, I was y'all. Shout out to the Cowboys. The Cowboys fans. You know, we got Oakland and Denver going on right now. Shout out to the Cowboys. They lost. Yeah, yeah. That's right. This is... This is... No, no, because Teddy's being funny. This is coming from a 49ers fan, so I understand. Yeah, Teddy's being funny. But Buffalo Bills won today, though. Hey, that's my home team. You know what? You didn't... Buffalo. You didn't... You didn't root for Buffalo when you were living in Buffalo. I mean, this is... I talked to a couple Buffalo players. Every time they would play, I'm like, go, baby. Hey, tell me some stories about that baby guy. Well, it was a couple of them, you know, just, yeah. but they get, you know, they move team fast, so it's not like I was in Nashville with some of them, and they were all like friends, you know, they get traded. Like, where's a glass of wine there? She got a glass of wine. But Willis McGaggy, I met him when I was working. Willis McGaggy? Yeah, yeah, I was working in the finish line. And I didn't know who he was. I don't watch football. Oh, so Willis McGahey. Like, Shout out to Willis McGahey. Why are you trying to talk to you? That's Willis McGahey. So I was like, oh, okay. So we exchanged numbers. Shout out to Willis McGahey. Um, I yeah, still don't know who that is. He was, he was really good. He was really good. Baby Miami, you heard But he thought he could check right. me about eating at 
4 o'clock in the morning. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, to Jim Steak. I'm going to get a hoagie, a steak hoagie. He's like, you shouldn't be eating at 4 o'clock. You play football, not me. You don't tell me what to do. Exactly. Well, furthermore, <laughs> anyone doing anything at 4 a.m. is... You know. Our clubs stay open till four. And oh yeah. All yeah, you know it's like in Louisiana, but you know down in y'all in yeah. Texas, y'all should shut down. Oh, New York is. Yeah. New York. Y'all shut down. You got them old blue yeah, laws. We, we can't buy liquor oh, on a Sunday. Can you buy liquor on a Sunday in New York? No, that's the only day we can. But we can buy liquor up till midnight every day. But you can drink until like six a.m. Oh, I love <laughs> Shout out to Louisiana, baby. We can buy alcohol on Sunday. You can still drive with a drink in your hand in Louisiana. It's a lawless place. We're the best state in the South. Go outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you gotta go outside to tie your ear. Yeah, yeah, because mm, yeah. Cause you can't talk on your phone in here because you know we're here in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. <laughs> all of that. Yeah, all that. It's too loud, man. You be talking too loud, you know. Yeah. There's some loud stuff you talking about right there. <laughs> we back there. He chilling though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to my boy Jibo, man, and shout out to his workout. Hey, shout out to my, shout out to Cali, my boy from the West Coast, man. What's 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 long Beach, Cali? Hey, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Calm, don't give him calm. Bob in the cup. Oh, ain't no bomb. Thank you. I just want to hear that. I don't want to hear. I don't want that. I know. There ain't no motherfucking bump in the rain. I've been on this podcast long enough to know exactly what that means. It's somebody, you know what? <laughs> somebody, hold up. Somebody, hold up. Somebody, hold up. Somebody, real shit. Real shit. Somebody, somebody inboxed me today and asked me what. Somebody inboxed me today and said, what is a C day? I deleted their ass. What is a what? Somebody text, somebody inboxed me on Facebook today and asked me what is C day mean? What does C day mean? What does happy C day mean? Don't, 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 you, don't, you, you get a pass. You Thanks. get a pass. Can I take this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that's a crip birthday. It's a crip birthday. Yeah. So I was going to say that. I was going to say oh that. I was going to say that, but I was like, man, I don't want to say something. But what I'm saying, no, no, no. Somebody inboxed me today because they seen everybody was saying, happy C day, cuz. Happy C day, cuz. Happy birthday, cuz. Happy birthday, cuz. So somebody was like lost. I'm like, okay, C day, your birthday. So then somebody said, what does C day mean? Delete, scram, bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> it's the day before we storm Normandy. Well, I don't have an answer. <laughs> Thank Never you. I get one in every once in a while. You know what? It's just a dedication. Some kind of dedication. I only know the history. On, 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 on the set, though, the fact about it, though, she wasn't a white person. She was black. You'll think she knows something. Oh. You're black and you're 28, 29 years old. You at least have to do something. Oh. Right. Who's that? What's your name? Baby. You good? As you know, the mascot of this podcast loves to hog the spotlight. He, yeah, he hey knows now. the camera. You know what? He hates every camera. T- cell phone, any kind of camera. But when that camera's on, he's on. Yeah. I actually disagree. I got him on my Snapchat and he was loving it. Oh, yeah? You had the filters. Mm-hmm. He loved the filters. <laughs> That's what it was. He got, he got, he, you got to throw the animation on there to get him yeah. attention, you know? Some pretty cute Other stuff. Than that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Well, that's how I was going, though. Fuck y'all had got me on that fucking shit about the um Trump. The uh the birth hold up, not Trump shit. We were uh. talking about the chick inboxing me and shit about my birthday and all that shit. We were talking about birthdays and all that shit. We were talking about William McGay, he did all say we went to go to something. Anyway, yeah. fuck all that shit right there. We, we talking about football. Cause I like football now. I, like I didn't football like it. I know what it means when they say second and whatever. I'm like, ooh, they need two more yard thingies to get to that goal. Yeah, spoken like a woman who truly does football. It's so, it's so interesting I, I hope now. to get there one day. <laughs> oh my God, when you know what I don't what understand you're it. About, I don't understand it. When no I figured out, this is like, this year some time. Right? You know when Terry like, Bradshaw's oh, on TV and he's like, they need two more yard too thingies. Too it's yeah. it's yeah. a yeah. new yeah. I just, I understand basketball more because. Like, football is bomb though. When you yeah. get it and you know what's going on, you're like, oh my God, get there. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I like it. I like yeah. seeing people's faces. Yeah, I like when so people basketball. like, I like when people oh, And shout out to the, hey y'all, shout out to the people who like to call me and shit while the podcast is going on. They know the podcast is going on. Shout out to these motherfuckers like this. Like, what's happening with you, Big Steve? I know you know the podcast is going on and you're calling me. Why do they do that? Let's put them on blast, y'all. Fuck it. It's the podcast. What's happening with it, Big Steve? Hey, put it on speaker so the relatives can hear. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Big Steve, what's up? What's up with it, Big Steve? What's up with it, man? What's cracking, cuz? What's up with it? I can't hear you. We can. You know what? I already knew that. Hey, I'm at the crib doing the podcast show right now. I heard what you said. 
I want to show, do the show right now. I'm about now. to say, I, I want to filter that. We're going to edit. We're going to edit. We're going to edit. I heard you say that shit around the corner. Maybe it's stop and go. I'm doing the show right now. I'm in the crib. I'm out with my dad. All right, there you go. That's no, no, that's Karen. This comedy, this comedy right there. I had to throw that to show y'all. That's how the kickback goes. Y'all. I had to throw that in there, y'all. Hey, I tell you about the 90,000 people this week, man, on Facebook. Kickback show starts at 4 o'clock. Show starts at 4 o'clock. To be fair, you had to remind me yesterday. I'm glad. <laughs> I smoke more weed more. I smoke more weed than anybody I know, and I don't forget shit. Also, I'm glad you texted me and I texted him right after. I was like, really? You weren't going to tell me don't it was at four? Like no way y'all get Really? Straight. Really? <laughs> Mother, uh, 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 uh. You know what? I'm going so hard right now. We ain't taking no breaks. It's all gas, little breaks, little stop sign, little red lights. Oh, ain't that cracking that with a cup. We bitch rolling around this motherfucker. Like, He's hanging with a slim man. Hey, Welcome home again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, like the Kickback Podcast right. show is our birthday, man, October the 1st. Also, it makes it a year since I did the first time. The first time I did a podcast show, the Ian Gleason show, Damn. I did it last year on my birthday. And it was making it a year since I did podcasting, man. And guess what? A year later, I got my own show. And it's episode 17 yeah. right there. Woo! Right. Yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. Right. I'm giving up episode 17, man. October 1st. It's the Kickback Birthday Pod. Kickback Birthday Podcast Show. Birthday bash. Back, birthday bash. Yeah, 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 y
Um, but yeah. I gotta eat. I'm sorry. I'm taking a break. You know what? You know what? Like, that's yeah. right now. I just, what, man? Somebody gonna wait. I get past the hunger stage because I'm just oh, in like no. go mode. Pass us a biscuit or something. You want to pass us a light bread? Pass us a light bread right now. Light bread, light bread. You know, females they need to come over. Yeah, Frank's red hot. The they, best they, hot they, sauce they, in the world. Now, Louisiana, oh, no. Louisiana <laughs> hot sauce is the best. And Cholula. Cholula. Frank's red hot. Put that on everything. You Louis- see what the label says? Louis- put that on everything. Louisiana Frank's. hot sauce you know is the good? best. You know what goes good with Frank's? Everything. So more Frank's. You know what goes good with Frank's? Hello. Sinatra. Hey. It's not a damn thing. <laughs> I want to go over it. Well, not only is it our birthday, Cuddy, but today is also the day that O.J. Simpson got released from prison. Would you today? take a picture with him? Because I will. Did you say you won't? Oh, I absolutely would. Man, I, I wanted to sign a shirt what? that says if the gloves don't fit it. You must have you know, I don't have a reason to <laughs> take a picture with him, and I have a reason not to take a picture with him. How about that? Okay. He don't like black people. He might want to take a picture with him. Oh, that's, that is, that that is true. I did see I'm not black. black. I'm O.J. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it, Jay-Z. Thank you. No, I won't take it. No, I won't take it. OJ Scram, bitch. Fuck don't, don't say that. He's free now. I don't give a fuck. Scram, though. For now. For now. He finds his way to get back in the prison. No, no, when he robs his own memorabilia again. This might be a stupid question. I never had a situation or a reason toward OJ, man. I never, I always, I just looked at another angry man killing somebody. You leave that alone, little boy. The no, Kardashian's really. dad was the one who. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that. What's up with you, good? You want Apparently, Caitlyn Jenner came out and and like wrote a book and like said book, yeah. all this stuff about was it Rob Kardashian, like the dad, yeah. saying that like he had admitted that he knew that he was guilty and all this stuff and like that all the girls know and of course they're saying like that never happened. So who knows if Caitlyn is just lying and being spiteful? Because apparently, there's a lot in the book that wasn't. That didn't make sense. Right. So interesting. I need to know what. Hormone pills. Go on. Apparently, she's not a good person. Really? Yeah. Like I've heard just from you know news sources and just other things that. Mm. Oh, you mean the mogul of an empire who exploits her daughter's sex tape isn't a good person? No, I'm not talking about Chris. Oh. Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn. Oh the shit! Dad. You mean Caitlin, the 65 year old man, the 65 year old woman? See, that's what it, that's what right. it gets me though when you say her. I, I don't like to confuse myself, so I still call Caitlyn Jenner. I still say, what's happening with it, dude? I'm like, well, I want to see you her. Know, and I what does she like, say when you say that to her? I'm like, what's the... I'm just saying, like, <laughs> and you hold her from weenie spots. <laughs> like, I do that yeah. on purpose. Like, if I see a stud, if I, like, if I see a stud. I get it. My girl, he got her hair cut, table fade like me. Mm-hmm. Got him chill, toe with Adidas, got his pants sang. Now, when I see her and a lady, yeah. I'm like, how y'all, how you ladies do it? Yeah. And I'm like, right, Sometimes you just don't know. I, I mean, no, I just know. Yeah, I do it on purpose. What is she, seven foot two? Yeah. I'm like, how you doing, yeah, sweetie? You know. I mean, I put in there, you know what? Broad ass shoulders. By the, time, <laughs> by the time she walks away from me or get out of my presence, she remember that she's a female. Cause I make I call her sweetie and I woman now. I said, put that woman spell on her so hard. Yeah. How you ladies doing? My, my view, hate that. Sweetie, I know that. I my, know view, that. my view of the whole gender thing that was a big deal for a while was, um, if you have a penis, store bought or birth given store bought you are a male and you use the man's restroom if you are a if you have a vagina store bought or birth given go to the ladies room ladies room already has the longest line i don't need a guy standing in my way i like right. teen at walmart like, uh pussies and penises that's what they say i haven't walked down that aisle yet we all seen those <laughs> items do that i don't they plan walmart? on doing it you said walmart are you serious say what all right I don't walk down the aisle either. Yeah, okay. Hey, man, we ratchet around. I go all into the sex store. Like I, I avoid Walmart. Walmart had a sex I store. avoid Walmart like a plague. And by the way, man, we universal around here, man. Shout out to California, man. We got Philadelphia up in this thing. What's up, Northside, Germantown? Yeah. Where, you, where you from? It's here in Philadelphia. My boy Jose, oh, y'all know. No, I feel it. We got Dallas, motherfuckers. We got Buffalo. We, we got all Dallas, you know, North Dallas, Will Chapel, Rich Rollers. We got them up here. And we got New Orleans up here, sir. Texas. New Orleans. We got Long Beach up out there, too. We got little Long Beach. We got Compton up in there. Uh huh. We got everything. We all in Dallas, though, man. The melting pot. We come to take this fucking motherfucking city over. We taking it over. All you Dallas people got to scatter. Texas is the best. Come on, man. Texas is the best. What's supposed to say about that? Yeah, whoa, whoa. Y'all, y'all outnumbered in your own city. Yeah. You outnumbered in your own city. Yeah. We're business partners, but I'm from here. Come on, guys. <laughs> Everyone wants to move here. It's the best. Yes. 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 It is. It's cheaper than a lot of places. The food. It's all right. Hey, they, they oh, like, okay, I ain't time out, time out. Bring that back. Put 
the world is kind of fucking y'all. La 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 la. la, la, la. The world is not good, y'all. It's bipolar. It's it's it's, it's, no. it's indecisive. No, the but it's just in no all No, no one yes. takes yes. out. It, what is it? No, what is it? It's hot as fuck out here, y'all. It's hot as fuck. Right. You better red light. You look at somebody, y'all <laughs> mugging each other. That's how hot it is. And you don't like that shit. It's hot. You're sweating. Uh, you can't keep yourself cold. Your AC, your, your, unless your bill be three hundred dollars and shit, cause you gotta have your shit on sixty five all summer. Um, and the one time is cool. I'm like on seventy one. I'm straight. They only have one time off all out here. It's just shit, just a cool ass summer and a hot ass spring. Oh, it's just all it is out here now. Yeah, we can spend many They only got two seasons out here. They got two seasons out here. It's not just the bitches, I ain't happy. They got two seasons out here, man. Yeah. And get what? It's snow, it's, it's snow if you don't want to. Like, Super Bowl Sunday was here, what, five, six years ago, seven years ago? Yeah. Yeah, how long have I been on? But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, Super Bowl Sunday was here one year. It's snow. It never snowed that weekend a day. And the whole the city lost out, their mind. The sun has been out every year since then. It's been 90 degrees every Super Bowl here in Dallas, but it snowed all weekend. I'm getting happy. I said, I'm going to make $900 every night. <laughs> all of a sudden, it snowed. I said, that motherfucking devil. Motherfucking devil. Yeah, the ice is something The different. black ice came different. one. That whole that's just, sheet of ice. I've been, dangerous. Dangerous. I've been living out here 13 years, though. See, it had black ice one year. Mm-hmm. And see, yeah, it doesn't really snow out here. It's, it's ice. It, yeah. And, 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 and it shuts everything down. And, uh, yep. and see, see, man. And they put sand on the road. Where's the salt? Y'all put sand on y'all road. We have two trucks have for the whole city. We have two trucks. In New York, they have 744. I don't know to answer your question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just crazy. Where are you getting sand from, though? Because they're going to get some salt. They all, they all, uh, me and Jose, we stayed in the, uh, on the east on the east, uh, on the east coast, so we know how it gets up there. Yeah, Jose on the mic, our fair producer. We, we, yeah. Well, He's raising his hand as yeah, the camera. Yeah, but then it's so long. Like, the salt will eat up that ice real yep. quick. Yep, to my straight like, up. Like, in no time. Yeah, I don't have an answer for your question. The sand, the sand they do it, just make it tight. The sand makes your car dirty. Yeah, that's true. You gotta wash your car twice. Everything makes your car dirty. Fuck you, I said rain three days ago, and I saw 47 wrecks in half a mile. Because people can't drive here. Yeah, people flip the fuck out. You got too many, uh... But it's everyone from everywhere. Too many Africans and Asians and Mexicans out here that don't have, uh... I don't co-sign that, but yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 these motherfuckers been riding on horses and wagons all their life. They come out here and get in. You go. <laughs> and oh my god. They get, they get on there. They get, they get on I do want a job eventually. <laughs> 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 you know what? One day. I'm gonna tell you this. Actually, okay, so this is why you don't tell anybody where you work. You know what? <laughs> Check it out. I'm not. I'm not ashamed, yeah, y'all. Nobody, nobody watches this show anyway. <laughs> That's true. Nobody watches this show. We don't give a damn. Fuck them. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm going to say what I got to say. Shit. Everybody else say it. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. What you want me, What the fuck? You want me to kneel or you want to keep talking? Oh, my God. Can we do that? I would kneel. I, keep talking. I, talk my, I can't talk my shit. I'm kneeling. <laughs> oh, I kneel. And you I would, have the free expression to do so. I would kneel with Aaron Chichu. I would kneel when you say your prayer. Well, you got a lot of questions <laughs> on that topic. So, uh... So when it comes to free expression, free speech, just like um, and audience, y'all can get into this sick conversation. What she's about to say, God knew it's headed. Hello, we ready. Arm so down. I have a blessing and a curse where I see both sides of almost every situation, almost every like everything. Um, but I don't like. That's fine if you want to kneel. That's your freedom of expression and speech. Cool, do that. But you can't Righteous. get mad at the people that are mad at you for doing it because they're expressing their freedom of speech. Is all yeah. I feel about that. But it's not them getting mad about it. It's them saying the people who are, are going against it, they don't understand why he's kneeling. They just going there, he's nothing against the he's flag. He's disrespectful. It's just, no, it's not. No, no he's, he's nothing against the flag. He's kneeling because of what is going on. Right. He's, he's, he's protesting. He doesn't care about the flag. I always ask people all the time, you see the flag burning up and me flagging up, which one you gonna put out first? I mean, you obviously. You gotta think about this shit. You can make another God flag. Damn, hold up. But, hold, hold up, 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 but I'm going to ask you a question again, and camera, get this shit in slow motion. If you see me burning up and the flag burning up, the American flag, you see both of us burning up, which one you put now first? Of course I'm putting you at first. Like, like, there's there's, there's, there's no factory, factory that makes sense. I'm, 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 I'm representing the point of him kneeling. 
I don't care about the flag shit. Yeah. We know what they fuck with. That's the focus. That's the focus. We know so people, weird. People, 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 people not understanding why he's kneeling though. When you, when you go against that, when you try to look past that right there, I be like, scram. I think they, I mean, I, I'm like, I, 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 I ain't my scram bitch. I'm like, bitch scram. I'm like, this time, I'm doing my bitch scram. And by bitch scram, I mean, like, get out of my face. Yeah. And what's weird about this whole That's situation like, is. Like, you, if you go, I, I'm with Captain Nick. Number seven, you was a whack quarterback the last two years for us. He's on my yeah. though. And that's why well, I got two. You know what? I, 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 used to, I, used to be, I used to be there. I used to be that guy in the streets. I got a bunch of homeboys in the street. I got a bunch of relatives in. I got a homeboy. And I'm going to tell you why it beats me so hard. Because I got a homeboy that got gunned down by 10 cops in front of 7 Eleven. The Circle K back where I'm from in 1996. And he was just pulling out his cell phone. And he got knocked out by 10 police and didn't get arrested. And he's, he's, ain't nothing, ain't nothing been, ain't nothing been so since then. Right. You still got motherfuckers getting knocked down. down. I hate when motherfuckers be like, oh, the Irish had it bad, the Jews had it bad, such and such had it bad. Motherfucker, we still got it bad. The we ain't talking about they don't got it bad no more. <laughs> we talking about we still got it bad. Yeah, the Jews definitely had it pretty bad. I mean, yeah. you know what? I mean, I'm just saying we all had it bad. We talking about we had it bad now. Then we'll be going to the, the, the kneeling bar right, coming the in there. We still get the oppression on us. So let's move forward. And we try. We trying. Shit, we trying here. We can't. Take can't. Take we can't. Take can't. Take we can't. Because financial, financial freedom <laughs> fucks it up because we got a motherfucker that think they too good. Motherfucker, too, motherfucker that's too pretty and too rich. I don't want to listen to nobody. For real, that's how I go, man. Motherfuckers, you got too many racist motherfuckers around here, and some of them too undercover. You don't see who racist man until you go on that motherfucker thumb thugging ass shit that's called Facebook. <laughs> motherfuckers don't express their opinion, Thumb man. Thugging. I wish a motherfucker tell me how they feel. It's Sherlock's on the block anywhere how they tell me they feel on Facebook. Don't troll me on the fucking thumb thugging. Troll me in my face. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I big you up, whatever. Let's see how tough you are. Straight like that. You can do all that bluffing all you want to, but it ain't gonna ever happen. We ain't gonna never come to no union. Exactly. At the end of the day, everybody needs to be. There's too many undercover motherfucking racist people. The other yeah. side. I mean, there's too many. Well, we're Come on, I got a lot of white friends. Mm-hmm. And y'all ain't even racist. So, so I do agree so with what you yes. said. We do all need to unite. If the other side is silent, it's kind of like y'all are okay with it. Y'all shouldn't be. Y'all should be uncomfortable with silence is violence. People, period. It's just silence like, is violence. That you'll have people like, oh, it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal to us. So just have some type of sympathy. Yes. towards what we have to go through is I think what we're asking for all the time. So when people taking the kneel, it's just like white, black, whatever, everyone should kind of unite as one and be like, okay, you know what, we understand because it's an injustice. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with the flag, it doesn't have anything to do with nothing else, like with our veterans, yeah, with anything crazy. else. It's just that everybody should recognize and know that black people have it harder. Yeah. So I think that maybe the reason they think that kneeling is disrespectful is because, I mean, you said it's not about the flag, it's not about this and that. Yes, they can you know, take their freedom of speech wherever, like during right. a football game. So where millions of people watch football, this is like a good place for us to be like, hey. Right, but then it, it goes into, into yeah. yeah, it's it, a perfect place. It is, but then it goes into like, people just want to watch sports without politics. Well, that's too. the thing, like, what do you do, what is NFL at the end of the day? It's a distraction from your regular life. And if politics is infused in everything, how the hell do we escape anything? That's what bothers me. We're more focused on before the game than we are the game. Like, I like football. Why can't I just like football? I don't like that people... I, I don't like... I don't like when people... Uh, I, I, I don't like when people group people into a group. You know, because I don't want to be grouped into I feel like, the, you know, the I feel like, right. Put it like this. You see, me, I feel like no, whatever platform that you're on, hey, shh. Utilize it the right uh, way. But yeah, all right, I'm talking to the camera anyway. Uh, I feel like whatever platform you want, man, if you can utilize what you got, how you feel, and what you represent on that, do it. Whether it's negative or positive. If I'm a rapper or a singer, mm-hmm. if I'm if I'm a rapper, I'm not gonna kneel. I'm just gonna put that kneel into my verses. Right. So, so why that's their form any, of expression. So why him being in football? He can't throw a touchdown and. And, and, and state how you feel about the fucking uh, bullshit going on. He got to do, he got to look. Well, Beckham did. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of, you know, he's, he's, he's a different. But anyway, I'm just saying, yeah. the point I'm making is, you got, I, I like, I like the fact that I got a podcast. Because I don't do, I don't, go on, I don't go on the book no more, stating how I feel, or going hard on me when I say it right here. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck if you get mad about what I say on my podcast. Because right. guess what, you're going to understand how I feel about the situation because you can hear me now. And you see how I feel about it versus me typing it to you and you reading that shit. You feel where I'm coming from and I'll give you a different perspective on it. 
So I don't get high for you. You troll me all you want to. You can come in, whatever you want to. Uh, the thing about it, you still gonna subscribe and watch my show on NDB. So I don't yeah. give a fuck. I love to hear the different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. I I really do. Cause like I said, I do always see both yeah. sides. And that's what kind of sucks you know, for I'm, me. I'm gonna tell you what gets me. Like, friends, something happened in friends that got bombed or some shit. Mm -hmm. Or the gay club in Orlando got bombed and shit. Every white person threw a French flag up and a gay flag up. Mm -hmm. South Carolina church get shot up. No white person did shit. They kept on watching Grey's Anatomy. That's an interesting point. They kept on watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> listen, oh listen, my God. Listen. Grey's Anatomy, Ohio. Listen. And the church got shut up in South Carolina. You can't. But no, listen, listen to Sue. Sue, Sue's with a, uh, man, a you can't put up a white person in that category. That's what I'm saying, though. I, I watched this. I got, I got 5,000 friends on Facebook. Facebook just like you. And half of them are different people from different colors. Mm -hmm. I know it's thugged out of the hood of my shit. But I'm around a bunch of white people and I see the white people, they don't react off that shit, the South Carolina shit, or Mike Brown and everything else shit. But they react off a different country getting bombed. Let me ask you a question. Or some gays getting bombed. I'm not shouting to you gay people. I'm just saying. Y'all y'all acknowledge that. I'm not gonna say y'all. Not gonna say y'all. Y'all acknowledge, y'all acknowledge friends in Orlando. But y'all didn't acknowledge, I'm not gonna say y'all, I'm just saying you. I was gonna say, yeah, kind of. Yeah, because like, white people, I acknowledged it. White people <laughs> acknowledge. What do you mean, you? Uh, white people. people. You people. <laughs> <laughs> I, put like this. Let's go with right. Through my eyes, a white, a white person, I, a, no white person on my page threw up a South Carolina <laughs> profile pic. Like they did the frag at France and the gay flag. I think you're right with the filter on everyone's profile. I understand. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They did, they acknowledge that, but they didn't acknowledge the black people getting killed in the church. Why you didn't throw South saying. Carolina on your profile pic? Yeah. But you're a troll, and somebody throw you'll go to one of them black pages on Facebook and troll the people that black talking about this shit on the fake page, hiding the racism. So that's one thing about it. Why I like Donald Trump? He ain't gonna lie to me. He gonna let me know he hate me. I want a mother to let me know he racist. Mm -hmm. I want I want you to let me know you hate me, brother. You black, white, Puerto Rican, Asian. I want you to let me know that. I want to know that. I, that's why I know how to handle you now. That is the thing about Trump is he's, like you, he, he's not going to give you, you the politician to <laughs> like say one thing and one less nigga I got to worry about. There is that. You, yeah, you, you always know what he's thinking. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I love, I love everybody. I don't care what color you are, man. I'm attracted to motherfucking grind, hustle, and heart, and soul. I don't care what color. It's just I don't care about that. If you got some positive going on, if you stupid and ignorant, I don't want to be around you. I don't care what color right. you are. That's just Same. what I go with. No prejudice, no racism, whatever. I get called a racist like at least four times a week on Facebook just because I don't agree with something that someone said. And I'm like, what? Like how, what? Anybody need a drink up in this moment? I hate that, yes. What we live in? What? Yeah. Green can, please. Anybody fucked up yet? No. Not quite. No. Do we need to stretch? Uh, we only got no alcohol. Y'all went home. Nobody had no alcohol. I was like, oh, and it's Crazy, Sunday. Man. She called it. I almost brought my wine. I'm so jealous. Every time you drink it, I'm like, mm -hmm. I brought wine. That's what I brought. I was like, ain't no alcohol in these drinks. I, oh, I drank my two drinks last night. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you two, two ladies on the right. show, man. Right. I always, I like to have you two ladies on the show. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all get too, uh, really, y'all get really comfortable back there. I see y'all get. If y'all want to get, y'all can come talk though. Yeah, y'all yeah, not over here. So why is y'all louder than we over talk. here? Yeah, y'all, we do got this. Kid, it's our birthday badge. It's the yeah. kid badge. It's the audience. Hello, side bars stay over here. But hold up, hold up. We got so relaxed and shit. We got so relaxed. We forgot it was a show going on. We did do that. We having our own conversation over shit. But back to the show, y'all. And I, like I was saying, uh. I'm glad you two ladies on the show, man, because I know you're going to speak your mind and you're going to say what you got to say. I don't want nobody on here. I don't want nobody on the Kickback Podcast show that's scared and shit, that's worried about what a motherfucker think and shit. You know what, mama? I'm the same person all day. I don't got nothing to hide from my mama, my job, anybody, man. Ain't no cutting. I'm the same nigga I wore since the motherfucking 70-something. What I love about you is you and I have had um, conversations about, you know, BLM and all that, and you are so easy to talk to because you actually sit there and, like, listen to my views and, and, and why I'm not 100% for them. And, and and you know that, and you're not rude about it back. Oh, no, I just be funny. I'll be serious. I'll be funny at the same time, but I like to... Because we bounce ideas off of I like, I, like to, I like to explain and I like to dissect the whole situation down to the motherfucking dime of the rock. And let motherfuckers know what it really is, man. Because some people, they, they don't, they shovel not deep enough to dig through the ground to get the real root of the situation. So I, I had the information and I try to steer it to people's mind where they could get it and know it. Like the BLM shit. Um, when it first started off, man, it was positive. You had, then the BLM came out. You the radical followers. The, that the ones that just... 
You, you, the, you, the, you the black cake. They don't want peace. They're like the people that just Mother don't like you too like woke, nigga. You so woke, you hit a whole gram of salt. That's how woke you is. They, they too woke. Like they want to go back. Now you, you damn near, you so woke that you are now sounding like you racist and prejudiced. Exactly. That's the problem with a lot of people who are woke. They're very like, you too woke. you don't choose their side, it's like, no, well, help me. Feed me the knowledge. Don't force it down my throat. Yeah, be like, disrespectful. You, about you stupid as hell. You sleep. Well, wake me up. Well, they have a predisposition already. Before the conversation even happens, they Mm -hmm. already have an opinion formed about Mm -hmm. who they're about to talk to, Mm -hmm. no matter on on either side. Everyone's too dug in. Exactly. Nobody's willing to uh, give any leeway, you know what I mean? Right. At all, at all, man. That's why I let me sit back and listen to people, man, listen to them talk. Okay, okay. And sometimes I say some shit just to see how people react. I love debates, but when personal dicks start getting in there, we're not debating anymore. You're just being ugly and... I'm not going to debate with you anymore. <laughs> you know, That's why I love this show. There's only one place you're going to find dudes from the suburbs and the projects hanging out, discussing their issues and having fun and drinking with it. And where can you find it at, y'all? The fucking Kickback Podcast show. This is what we do around here. That's why I like the show. Yep. We ain't going to find it around here. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people on this mic that like, you'll never see Saisha and Rod hanging out with each other. Uh, we body body. Body. I actually really like her. Body body. <laughs> Like, 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 like that. What Cuddy Slim does, what Cuddy does, what Cuddy does, Cuddy make make white people feel like okay, all oh, oh, black people ain't bad. These black people ain't bad at all. And then black people like all oh, white people ain't stupid. They all bad at all. They all racist. <laughs> For real, I bring that shit. I'm just real talk. I'm just giving y'all. Yeah. Some of us have sleeves, and not all of us have. Yeah, I want to break it down. Right. Y'all be like, "Damn, yeah, cutting, cutting, cutting." They're on my teeth. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I want to break it down. Y'all be like, "Cutting asshole, man. Cutting cold as fuck, man." Cut it, feed us and get us fucked up and hide everything every day. Travis wanted to come with me. <laughs> Travis almost came with me, but he was like, man, I'll have to literally get on the mic because I can't just sit. Like, I'll have to give my opinion. I'm like, come, come give your opinion. And he was like, what if Cuddy and I, like, get into it? I'm like, first we of all. We won't get that. First of all. Yeah, yes, that's exactly we're right. We're in a little controversy. And Travis is just, it's my opinion. Travis is so intelligent with the words that he chooses and his debates. And I was like. Cuddy's so open-minded that it would be perfect. It would be perfect. And you know why I appreciate you for coming. And uh, Travis, Travis, if you ever watch the show. Hey, Travis, you know, you're hey, welcome. Hey, it's on episode, it's on 39 minutes and 42 seconds. Just click on that on YouTube. What's up, Travis? <laughs> <laughs> hey, stand up, everybody. We're going to make a toast, by the way, y'all. Fuck this shit. Let me get my glass. Hold Beasy, on. what's up, what it comes? What's up, man? Chilly, what's happening? My glass is getting poured. Give me a second. Hey, I got real jolly and now I'm sweating. Okay. I got Johnny, I'm sweating. Man, I'm ca- can I? Y'all, can you ask for another beer again? Nah, I said can I? Two is. We all toasted. Hey, two it, two it up. You got to get the booty toots. I don't have the blood, but I have lots of leg. Your podcast, though. just needs a good black you going to leave this hey, toast? Hey, me up here. Hey, I need another one, too, though. I need another green can. Oh, that one? No, I need one. I appreciate you. Come in, motherfucker. Come on Come in. Come here, motherfucker. Oh, hey, hey. Come hey. in. Hey. 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 Are we toasting or not? We, yeah, no, no, no. We're about to do this toast. We're in the middle of the episode. Uh, relatives, this is fairly unprofessional, but this is our kickback. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a professional. No, it's not. That's great. I'll get this shit done. This is what we're doing right now. All right, fair enough. So, lead us. Come on, right, right. Hold up. Come on, right, right. Come on, right, right. Let me make a toast, nigga. Somebody make a toast for us, y'all. Fuck that. I'm just talking to us. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yeah. 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 Woo! For all those that yeah. understand, yeah. happy C Day, cuz. C Day! Happy C Day! Happy C Day! Happy C Day! Yeah. Appreciate that. Make a toast around this thing. It's a good show going on, y'all. I appreciate all y'all. That food, boy. Hey, y'all, how that meat looking, by the way? I'm tripping. I lost focus on the meat. Yeah, they got that meat on lot. Tell where James at, man. Where James at? Hey man, tell James to bring his Robin Harris head looking ass on over here. Man, where James at? Where he at? James, buddy. James, I love he was here. James would fall asleep walking to 7 Eleven. Fuck, that nigga, go check on that nigga, man. That nigga crazy. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, like we were saying, man, uh, shout out to uh, motherfucking uh, Denver and Oakland, that game going good. Oh, no. What's up, Super Mario? What it do, man? Get the camera still on. It's a kickback, huh? You know how it go, righteous. You know how it go. Righteous, righteous. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to come on the mic and speak? Shout out. You want to come promote y'all a uh, workout deal? Oh, 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 so we sell something, we sell something. No, no, hold up. Mario, 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 chill, relax. Chill, 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 chill. We're going to let you come your turn, man. Oh, come chill, on. Chill, no, you take this mic for a second. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, get on here. Chill, man. This is the Kickback Podcast. Everybody, get on here. It's a revolving door of guests here at the Kickback Podcast. What a day, what a day, y'all. What a day, what a day. Well, y'all, yeah, like I was saying, y'all, the Kickback Podcast. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got my boy uh, Gbo, Gerald Williams, Gbo up in here. Shonda Davis, what's up? Well, I'm a Davis too. Davis, I know. Davis, Davis too. That may be related. We are related. You know what I mean? Relatives. Go that way right there, Mario, brother. Another day, Tell another Luigi. day. You got on Luigi's side. Don't do that, son. Don't do that. You got Luigi's side on that green. Don't do that crap. Well, hey, well, uh, uh, by the way, man, feel free to introduce yourself and tell everybody about what you do, man, what you got going on, where you're from. Just give me a brief bio about yourself. Oh, well, you know, Gerald Williams, California, Compton, California, the west side, raised in the east, though, because you know what it is, west side. Eastside, righteous, righteous, you know, righteous. owner of Go Get Em Fitness, actually is greatness, gifted, forever fitness, LLC, righteous. that's my company, righteous. you know what I mean, look out for it, because uh, we about righteous. to do big things, we do speed programs, strength programs, okay. uh, weight loss programs, okay. kids, couples, programs, I mean, you name it, we do it. You know, it's it's all about building a brand right now. Throw your little website or your, your how you to know, get uh, you know, you, you can follow your boy. You know, at uh, go get him fitness on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Or wellness and uh, fitness also on uh, Instagram too as well. Uh, go get him fitness dot com will be up. You know, in about seven days or so. You can check that out too check as well. It out. But you know you can contact me anytime four six nine six two zero nine four one two. You can get uh, to them quicker that I'm way. about that work. The kids, <laughs> right. I, the yeah. kids, I take right, care of the kids. I thought, yeah. was, I thought he was Mike Jones you know, on that one. Kids, they got. Look, it's easy. Mike Jones, real. That was Mike Jones' real number for real. Right. He, wanted, he wanted motherfucking bitches to get at right. him for real. He said, I be there, I hear that the fake number, I hear your with a fake area code and everything. You know, it's easy to remember. I hit you with it again, 469-620-9412, baby. Again. Check I like it. your boy. Check Instagram, go get a fitness. And they used to run track. I need the kids right? too. Bring your kids on. Yeah, oh yeah, I used to do yeah, track. You know, just play yourself. I'm one of the fastest men in the world. If you right. didn't know, right? Just right. Yes, 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 yes. Right. I'm a right. nine nine. You know, it's I knew that. Center, I knew that. You know, five six sixty meter run. 50, you know, hey, I did that. I run around. I ain't Seven fastest time ever, ever in the world. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right out, go, man. Right, right. I don't even want to flex on y'all like that. But we ain't gonna do it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was preseason. You know, with the Arizona. Cardinals, you know, yeah. back in 2004, until I got released. Then I, was in, I, was, I flew out there to Canada to play for Montreal right. all the way. Right, just so right. Years before I got released. Yeah. You know, right. but it's all good, though. You know, I didn't go all as far right. as I was, but I did enough to get what I got. Right. And guess what? I give it to you. Holla at your boy. Got him. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey. Coach. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. He's passionate. He's very good. And Miss Shana, how you doing, yeah. lady? I'm doing oh, great. We cousins, y'all. We cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Davis is. Davis. Davis. <laughs> Hey, man, somebody come. My age bone cool. She put it in that work too. Okay, she, 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 she's 17 right. pounds lighter. Talk. 17 pounds talk. lighter. Talk. Get there. Okay, wait, 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 Take a shot. Talk, talk, shot. Let me use some airplane. Hey, no. That was right, baby. That was right, baby. She's going to put it 17 pounds lighter. She put that work in. Yeah. Yeah. Putting in that work. Putting in that work. And you yeah. can always catch them out. You know what? For now on out, if you didn't catch them, if you. I will make sure you catch them because I will keep repeating and replying it on my fucking Facebook and sharing it all the time just so you can. Hey, hey, y'all ladies, y'all need some ass? Holla at your boy. Hey, we ain't get y'all some ass. We ain't you know about, what I'm saying? And we ain't talking about going to Dr. Clutch. Nah, we no Dr. Clutch. Shot. We don't want nothing leaky. Don't need that leak speak. You know what I'm talking about? We put in that work. Don't leak it with eyes. You know what I'm saying? No steroids. <laughs> well, but anyway, yeah, man. I'm glad I feel good, man. I feel so good right now, man. 
<laughs> having everybody, <laughs> having everybody come over here, man, and kick it with us, man, and talk this shit, man. Happy motherfucker, C Day. Appreciate you, man. C Day, man. To y'all aliens that don't understand the language, man. I'm sorry, I had to bring that back up again. It's just man day. You know what I mean? Oh damn! Salute. Somebody just called again. Somebody called again. I'm doing the show. You're popular. You're popular. I'm recording. Damn, man. Just think about this. Why do you be so people so with this? Disrespectful, man. Yeah, they know the show going on. Uh, yeah, man, but uh, but yeah, no, I can't do that. I can't put any personal blast. They know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I know who it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, keep talking. Keep talking. Salute the cutter case. Salute the cutter case. Salute the cutter case. Salute the cutter case. I'm saying, no, it's, it's, it's an important call, but I gotta <laughs> let them know I'm recording still. You know, they not understand I'm recording still. Yeah, all right, boom. They won't be called any other time though. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, uh, damn cowboys. Yeah, cowboys. Yeah, shout out to the cowboys. Did they win? Ouch. No, you know these songs. See, you see, see. Oh, I, forgot. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. You want the phone on? <laughs> no, no, we ain't gonna do that. You <laughs> trying to hear him out? Hear him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Jose. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Hey, I don't want my rating to go up that high. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't gonna fucking, y'all ain't gonna have me on fucking ball alert and all that shit. Share my shit. Y'all wanna hear this shit right here? I'm gonna get don't care today for this shit. Fuck that, no. Nah, 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 nah. She understand that shit. So, anyway, man, like I was saying, man, this how the kickback show supposed to be all the time. My boy, I got my logo going. My shit supposed to be back here. You don't even go to see this shit right here, though. You don't even go to see this shit right Okay, but, uh, but uh yeah man uh I'm glad this shit going like this man is rolling well man uh G man whenever you wanna come through here again man and talk some more of this shit man I wanna have like you and like Ray it's funny though cause I invited you and Ray to come to the show, right? <laughs> Ray attack on the road. Excuse me, it's my show. But check this out. Is that what it's it's listen to this though. But Jose I tell you though. <laughs> but check this out, listen to the story right here. So him and him and Ray both came on the show together. And was the, before the day came, whatever, he said, hey, man, go to make the show, man. Uh, I got to go get this paper. Ray probably went to the cave with both of them when the came, but Ray said he wasn't coming. Ray said, ooh, open spot right <laughs> <laughs> Ray, that's my boy. Shout out to my son, Ray. Shout out to my boy, Ray. Shout out to my boy. That's our boy, y'all. That's, uh, that's why we can make this we joke. We love you, Ray, bro. That's why we can make this joke. Like, we be making it laugh about it because Ray said, oh, I get to be, I want to I interview by myself anyway. And, and we just right, we were like, oh, I think that's one of my longest episodes. <laughs> and it wasn't visual, it was just it was just uh audio. But somehow it still got a lot of views and shit. More than people the visual part. Mm-hmm. Now, I bet you it was visual though, he probably would have got like seven hundred plays, he would have shared that shit. He wanted people to see right, it. Right, right, he had right. a little camera girl that taking pictures and shit and all that right there, you know, doing a little right. drop for him. But yeah, I said Ray wanted the spotlight by himself. Though he came for the show, he talked, which I wanted that story anyway. Though I told him to come to the Ian Gleason show, which is the big show right, I right, do right, with right, the right. Heart Radio. Right, 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 right. I want him to come on that show. If y'all hear that in the background, them niggas outside and shit the door, man, they don't know how to act and shit. Good he has a glass. Nigga, one forty-four. You don't know how to act. I know. I'm like, it's the only thing here. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You grabbed him out of here. The thing, yeah, I was turning. Yeah, you turn it, turn it off. Oh yeah, that was going on. He said. Okay. I was trying to I was trying to put the button the, you know do the little I was doing the uh the links. Oh, he he the links. The links. Oh yeah. man. The links. What, what links? They was going to the grill though. It was, no, it was only about two it was like two, two and three hot dogs. Oh okay, I don't get the I put the I was trying to get him going, but yeah, yeah, just take him off. Y'all want to smoke here? Yeah, because I came over here. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they bad. Yeah, they're bad. You see that the, the show is the show is going well, so hard. Go get a show. fitness. Hey. Go get a fitness. Hey. Hey. I was trying to step up, you know what I mean? Hey, I was trying to step up, you know, and, 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 and step up and, you know, get the little thing thing going. The show going so good, we got the strap. Man, hey, go get a fitness. Go get a witness. Go get a Hey, 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 go get a fire. Go get a fire. Go get a kitchen. Go get a kitchen. I got a couple skills. 
He was trying to help his team. They are not gonna believe it now. I mean, well, you know. I don't know. Go y'all y'all, y'all called me over here after I put the things in there and I forgot about it because we, you know, we 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 chopped it up. You know, you know, right. Look, you told me to take over. He you told me to down. take over. You know, I was trying to. He thought on Instagram. Bell, he thought down. He thought down. Take over in the kitchen. Let me see that way because she ain't told me show that way or nothing. This is how I ran to my show. That was gone. Believe half of what you hear. Hey, you know what? Your way or what? <laughs> Are you on your way right now or what? <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm going to record the show right now. We're all about to end. I'm going to tell you what to do with it. Alright, you didn't you tell me you was on your way though. That's why I was trying to find out. about to go bad. When you pull up on the highway somewhere well, on the side of the road. Here you go. I got you though. They, they don't eat Alright, I'm doing the show right now. We're in the middle of it, but I'll be down now. The homies ain't going to eat all right. They probably we throw gotta, them shit back. We got to see how bad they is. Hey, that's going to mess up our nonprofit organization. But yeah, like the bad game oh. show like, right this? now. Hey, hey y'all, time out. Time out. Time out. Hey, G. That big pen. Hey, Jose. Yeah. Hey, you say 530, right? Yeah. Hey, y'all. That's tell them right there to come back up here for a second. Good. Hey, 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 bring everybody up here. We've been uh, okay. we to sign out the show, man. There's too many of them, right? They said two or three. Oh, they said two or three of them. Hey, you gonna sign out? Everybody come back up in here. Times three. Hey. That's why I'm Let me sign out. Put it out, man. Put the cigarette out. We're gonna come in the show. We're gonna buy that bitch back up. Three times three. Nine times three. Everybody, both feel good. Hey, he said, 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 Wait, hey, wait. No, no, you gotta get your mic, man. Go oh, right, go okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. It. Okay, it wasn't enough room. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all ready? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You was out of the camera, man, bro. It's this. Yeah, this is Super Mario, man. Y'all know what's happening, man. This is the Cutty Kickback Podcast, man. I hope y'all get here or got here because today is that boy Cutty's birthday. I also Rico Bobby's birthday, too, man. Like Rico Bobby, man. Happy birthday. Rico Bobby, man. Miss Riley right yeah. there. Yeah. I want to get y'all hair did, Miss Riley. Stylist. Show me what you working again, girl. Um, Addison Salon Suites. Addison Salon Suites, okay. right down the belt line right glorious. there. Please go, Jay. Yeah, please, um, please, I'll please, 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 please. Right there, right there, right there by, uh, by table 13 or some shit like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Righteous, okay. Man, please. listen, if y'all need your hair done, man, please holler at her, man. Please. Yeah, because y'all be out here looking ah. It's Slim. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Hey, man. Slim. I'm it's always Slim. a pleasure. Say, man, like this man been missing for a minute. I've been waiting Free for the man to come back. He free, free my nigga. He free. He free. You heard me? That was yes, good. I was talking to my boy from Long Beach right here, man. What's up with the Jeff Line? Hi, man. LBC. It's Saigon and Rapper. Right here. <laughs> still banging. All day. Saigon and Rapper. Shout out to my nigga. Hey, show me the shirt you got on today. Man. I had to rep, man. I had to rep for my, my, my cowboys, go. man. <laughs> but shout out to my boy. Cutting. What's again in Dallas? Happy C Day, man. Appreciate All you, man. Shout out Dallas, man. Yeah. Let me show the uh, G Bo. Come on. Hey, Happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, Cutting. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And Miss Saeed, the truth. Hey, now. It's right. Hey, Miss Saeed. always love when I come around here. Right here. Right always here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you gonna be? No, no. Hey y'all, I'm just want y'all to chill out for a second, y'all. I'm about to climb out. You see why niggas act when people be around cameras? Like, used to think I was what? Even white show. people don't know how to act when the camera. What? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, oh, 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 time out, chill out. Hold on, chill out. Hold on, chill. There you have it, y'all. It's your boy Cutty Slim and my boy Rico Bob. It's the Cutty Case and the Kickback Podcast Show. It's the motherfucking kid. I want everybody to start the count of three. To you motherfuckers that don't fuck with us and y'all don't come to the party on the count of three, you're going to say, Scram, bitch. One, two, three. Scram, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>